What do you do to grow your butt? How do you get a bigger booty? Anything with to do with booty or legs? This is my number one thing. Let's get a lesson. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Guest House. I'm Chrissy Costanza, and today we've got ST Peach in the Guest House virtually, of course, to help us figure out how to quarantine workout edition. Peach, have you been staying fit during the quarantine so far? Hey, I mean, I've been trying, you know. Oh, look at the gun show. <laughs> you need a light. Yeah, no, I feel like I've actually been able to do a pretty good job, so I'm happy to be here. Do you think, I know you have a super dope setup uh, that you kind of you kind of built, I've seen it on your stream before. Do you think that it's possible to stay fit in quarantine with like nothing, like body weight? Cause I know we're gonna be talking about how you can do like hip thrusts anywhere with anything at any time. Yeah. So do you think people can build full workouts with just their bodies? There's definitely full workouts that you can attain and do, but I would honestly suggest trying to get a few equipment or even just yeah. like household items that you can use as weight can help a lot too. So I don't know, it's it's possible, but I feel like it's way harder, so. What's your one, if you had to pick one piece of workout equipment that you could have, can't have anything else in your, in your quarantine <sighs> home gym, what's the one thing that you wanna have? That's so hard. I would probably choose a barbell. I know that's a barbell. super, it's huge. And like, yeah, there's a lot of space that it takes up, but there's so many things you can do with the barbell, so. No, I agree with that. I, I would agree with that. I would say like, I think a barbell is good if you want to go lighter, like a set of like, does, does adjustable dumbbells count or is that True. like kind of taking advantage no. of the system? No, that counts, that counts. Okay, that's... I didn't know if that's like, you know, cause you get the the array. I was like, does that, does that take advantage? But also never underestimate the power of just those like tube bands. Like, like the flat bands yeah. are good, but the tube bands, you could do like, those like add up to so much weight. Definitely, definitely. So today you're gonna give us uh, your tips on how to stay fit during quarantine, what you like to do, and also teach us about some hip thrusting. Yes, my favorite workout. Okay, so what are your what tips can you give us? If you had like top three tips for staying fit during quarantine, what would those be? Um, so I was saying earlier that I think that you really should, because at first I was just like working out in my pajamas and like not really caring because like nobody's seeing you, whatever. But yeah, after I changed to actually wearing my activewear, I feel like it just helps you feel motivated and really like, I don't know, get into the zone instead of just yeah. like being lazy. Like I would literally just work out in my pajamas, lay on the couch for like <laughs> between sets and it was like, this is not working out. So just kind of like <laughs> having a separate space if you can, or like yeah. changing your workout clothes, just kind of getting to, into that mindset, I think really makes a difference. Um, I that's, yeah, totally that's a huge one for that. me. I back that because I think it's like one of those things where it's like, even if you're, I think people have been saying, oh, if you're working from home, you should just like try and get dressed because you'll feel yeah. more productive. Because for me, when I like go to the gym, I'm so much more like pumped and inspired because I'm all looking at everybody. There's so much going on. So I feel like you're kind of simulating that by like putting on your gym clothes. You're like still going through the same routine of going to the gym. You're just exactly. going to the living room. Yeah. But it's, but it's the gym. <laughs> All right, second tip, what would you give us? Um, I guess another thing is trying to plan out a specific time of day that you're going to be doing your workout. Cause if you're like, you're not doing much, you're just like, oh, well, I'll work out sometime today. It pass that time passes and you're just like, okay, I didn't work out today. So I think having like a special time set for when you need to work out really makes a difference too. If I don't set a time to work out, I won't work out. And that's, but that's with everything for me. If I don't set a time yeah. to do it, I just, if I, if, I, if I have to do it at home, I just like, I won't do it. So I have to like set, set that time. So yeah. third, what would the third and final tip be? And I know we kind of were talking about this, but really just getting some sort of equipment, I think makes a huge difference because like, although you can make do with what you can with your house and stuff, but if you buy actual equipment, you're like, okay, I bought this, I need to use it. It gives yeah. you that like push to actually start working out, I guess, if that makes sense. I think like gadgets to me, like make me want to do things. 
So I feel like it's the same thing with working out. If you get things, it makes you want to use them. So then you're inspired to actually exactly. do something. Yeah. So one of your favorite or your favorite workout is hip thrusts. So you're going to show us how you do them, how to do them at home, yes. how you can do them anywhere, anytime. You don't need a bench to do it, even though it's nice. You don't need it. Exactly. Yeah. I feel like these are like whenever people ask me like, what do you do to grow your butt or how do you get a bigger booty or anything with to do with booty or legs? This is my number one thing is hip thrusts. I feel like it's made a drastic difference for me and my workouts. And yeah, I'll definitely give you a, a rundown on how to do them properly. Let's get a lesson. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna just like sit, basically just like straight up with it. So you're in the, this position. Mine is so tall. Hold on, I gotta lower it. I have it all the way up because I have it all the way up because I'm short, but I have to oh. lower it. Okay. Adjustable height chair. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it would be nice to have it a little bit shorter, but because what we have, this is what we're gonna use. Um, and then you're gonna just put your uh, elbows just like this and lift yourself up. You're gonna wanna put it like right where, I guess right under your shoulder blades basically. Okay. And then, so a lot of things that people do when they're doing hip thrusts is they'll kind of like pull the whole head backwards. <laughs> You're not yeah. supposed to do that. Okay. Basically, have your chin like tucked in so that you're looking forward. And yeah. what you're what you want to do is to try to keep your body in one like like long form, I guess you could say, where your shoulders right. are like the same as your hips. Right. And you're just gonna wanna literally thrust the air. <laughs> I'm, I'm holding on to my bed so I don't go rolling away because I don't want to forward thrust into the camera. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm getting it. Yeah, and then at the top, give your glutes like a nice squeeze so you can really, really feel it. Honestly, doing these, putting on like a milk jug or like a water jug or something and just like Anything holding heavy. at the top. Yeah, and then one thing too that I wanted to mention is when you're trying to um, do it, I like to like, put most of my weight closer to where my heel is instead of like where my tippy toes or wherever. And because that'll wanna... activate your, your glute more, right? Exactly, you, exactly. you put it further up, it'll be more quad. Exactly, yeah. So Woo! yeah, that is hip thrust. <laughs> Those are hip thrust. That is the Teach Me Out of Quarantine Fit Edition with ST Peach. Let us know what you decide to hip thrust in the comfort of your own bedroom. Yeah. And what's your favorite quarantine workout? We'll see you guys when you're fitter.